Here in the Panhandle, cell providers are constantly working to bring us the latest technology to ensure that we are staying connected 24-7. This is where News 13's Addie Hampton begins tonight in part one of her special report, The Connect Effect. Amy, you said it. Cell phones are an integral part of our daily lives these days, helping us in even the smallest of tasks. And you only have to take a look back at the past to see just how far we've come. Gone are the days of the rotary telephone. Dial each numeral in this manner. We're far removed from the mobile phone in a bag. Hello? These days, it's all about style, speed, and smarts. This product, once reserved for the lawyer or businessman, has grown into a trillion dollar industry with over 280 million cell phones in use worldwide. The advent of the smartphone made way for specialized apps, and with 4.5 billion apps projected to be downloaded just this year, it would seem the cell phone is used for much more than making calls. Games, texting. So in the web. My calculator on there. Ordering something online. Banking. Bingo bash. Facebook messages. The lowest gas prices are. Skyping. Random stuff. It does everything. So really, I mean, what else would you need? You might say that cell phones have revolutionized the way we do business. Take the news, for example. These days, when there's breaking news out in the field. You can report it on your cell phone. And in a matter of minutes, you can share it on Facebook and retweet it on Twitter. It's this demand for instant communication that constantly challenges cell providers like AT&T and Verizon to reach further and faster than the competition. Building out the network has been such a priority because of the way that people use these devices. Sue Sperry with the Gulf Coast Division of AT&T says in the first half of this year, they've invested hundreds of millions of dollars in the state of Florida, something necessary, she says, to compete in a constantly evolving market. The technology changes all the time, and that's the cool thing about this industry. But we plan ahead. We plan ahead as much as we can. Consider it an investment in our area's economic development. When cell towers like this brand new site on Highway 388 go up, Sperry says it goes hand in hand with economic growth. You look at economic development, we look at where's the community growing. The Panama City Airport's a very good example. She says as the area around the two and a half year old airport expands, they've worked hand in hand with the commission to ensure cell coverage grows with it. So this site that you're this brand new site here, you know, it's part of the cluster that is serving what is going to be the growing economic development of the airport region. Their next goal, 4G LTE. It's already available to Verizon users in the area, but with this speedy software already in place at this new location, Sperry says it's only a matter of time. So LTE is on the way and then that is about 10 times faster. And so we continue riding the latest technological wave, propelling us further, faster, and higher, leaving one question left to answer. Can there be too much of a good thing? And that's the question we look into coming up at 6. Research is showing we're becoming increasingly dependent on our mobile devices, so much so that there's a phobia named after the fear of being without them. Stay tuned for my continuing report on The Connect Effect.